All right, so we're here for the afternoon hunt. We're basically set up just trying to roost a bird for tomorrow morning. I'm sitting on our gas line so I can see a long ways and I can hear a long ways. So this morning they roosted up on top of it. I'm sitting down here at the bottom. We got a little clover plot that we just seeded about a month ago. So they're starting to hit that a little bit at night. But mainly we're just trying to roost them. I was on that bird twice this morning actually. Set up on them down below, had them come in. Just couldn't get on them with a camera. And shoot them at the same time, I guess. And then moved around him, made a big move, got in front of him again. And this time he walked behind me. By then he met up with some hens. And the hens led him behind me. So they're still around. Hopefully we're going to be able to pinpoint one tonight at least, and and then uh, we'll go from there, make a move in the morning. Get a bird. <clears throat> just fired up down below us. Sounds like he's actually in the bottom, so I'm going to grab my slate call because it's really high pitch and loud. See if I can get him to answer. Sit around. Gobble to some geese. That just flew over, so I'm guessing it's the same bird, and I'm guessing he has hands.
buddy. First Kentucky Tom. Woo, that was awesome. Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just shot my decoy, but I couldn't take it. He was sitting there with his head just sitting there all pretty at like 15 yards. I had to do it. Heck yeah, that's a good bird. I just came in here earlier and I, I mowed this grass. The original plan was to have Aaliyah in here. Uh, that's why I mowed it so the ticks won't be bad. But yeah, I just got done. I had Shelby drop me off. I don't know if this is the same bird or not that I was on this morning, but we, uh, I just got in, sat down for probably an hour, and, and a couple geese flew over. And when they flew over, I heard a turkey gobble. So I grabbed my slate call and did some calling. And he responded. But then it was nothing for a while. And then all of a sudden, I could just see his head coming up through off the gas line. And he put on a show. At first, I didn't think he was going to come in. He stood out there for a long time and just stared. Usually, the blinds don't bother him, but I almost think he didn't really didn't really like the situation at first. But then the wind started blowing, and it moved the decoys, and that was the, that was all it took. So he came he came right in. But yeah, that was beautiful, beautiful. That's what turkey hunting's all about. I am very, very thankful. Yeah. What do you think? His eyes are closed, huh? You want to try that? What do you say? Did you pick him up? Congratulations, Daddy. Wow. Good job, Dad. He's bigger than you. I just mowed our lawn too. Hopefully you guys like that hunt. It was a bird that uh, I actually was on a few times that morning and he left his hens so it worked out pretty good. He ended up coming in to the decoys just like they're supposed to. Once, uh, once we get some more food in here I think we'll hold more turkeys. There, there's turkeys around, but they just, for some reason, don't really like to hang on the property that much. So, once we get some more food plots in and everything, I think that's going to make a big difference. But every week we're going to do a video. I'm going to kind of show you what's going on. I mean, right now it's just going to be pretty much just deer season prep. So, pretty soon we're going to be putting more mineral sites out. I have one back here behind me next to the pond. But we're going to end up putting a few more. Um, and we'll show some videos on that. But other than that, we'll be gonna get this one planted I got another big food plot that we're actually gonna be dozing in here soon this summer I got a guy that's gonna come in and do that he's either gonna doze it or use a forestry mulcher I'm not sure what method we're gonna go with yet but we'll keep everybody posted on that if you want to just keep watching the content we'll we'll definitely bring you along and as we get ready for for deer season so the deer are starting to grow their horns and it's looks like it's going to be a pretty productive year so we look forward to it